Ride around my top down, window shaking a lot now I'ma stay proud, no cane brown But I thank God for these days now Don't make sounds, crash glass, no rebounds End town, Nashville, and I stay proud now Welcome to Nashville, where the conversations are always nasty. As always, I got my main man, Demonte, with me. What's up? What's up? Today is like an honor, man. We got two <laughs> very special guests with us. Yeah. Uh, we got the one and only the one and Robin one. S. <laughs> in the building, Robin. in person. In person. Co-hosting. The queen of the dance. Today. <laughs> like, you know, like, Lord, like the Lord of the Rings, and you got like... Uh, what is it? The Lord of the Dance. We got the Queen, got of, queen the of the Dance. Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> and 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 to be honest, I, I'm out of all podcasts, this one I'm most excited for. We got Paige Kennedy, aka multi talented, freaking artist and actor, <laughs> with us. Sir Paige, probably the hardest bars <laughs> I've heard in a long time come from this man right here. Yes, sir. How's it going, Paige? <laughs> What up, though? <laughs> <laughs> what an introduction. Wait, what, what bar was that? Dude. <laughs> Bars for he, he days. been housing all the energy oh, waiting everything. on this moment. I don't think... I don't think <laughs> tell, what up, like, though? <laughs> Bars for days. Period. So, Paige? <laughs> Dang. I thought, I, thought, I thought it was that one particular one that you, that you was like... Uh, like, I can't, like, uh, oh, I no, can't we tried. That, no, 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 we, we tried, tried to we did like, go try. off particular bars, yeah, it's like a... from start to finish, it's just mind blowing. And, and like, after oh, okay. like digging into you and like seeing, like, um, oh. like looking like in the uh, shake, like Shakespeare, Shakespeare, when you did acting, you did acting, <laughs> uh, what was it? How do you say? You, so, you're, sha- you're trained in Shakespearean, Shakespearean trained. He's like, yeah. yeah. He's like, Shakespeare. yeah. So, wait, Shakespeare. so what, we were trying, what we were trying to debate was whether or not that that's that's the driver because we, we go off on here all the time and we talk about it with all the artists that would come on or whatever. This lost art of lyrics. That hmm. that music mm-hmm. not having any content anymore. Nice way you know, it. so right. so I'll I'll be honest with you, I was I was kind of surprised to hear that there was some substance. You know, so then we start digging a little more, and I was like, okay, wait, maybe this thing is coming full circle because, like, there's a million Shakespeare quotes out there that people will drop on you, been in multiple movies, been in multiple right, conversations. Right. And then, you know, we learn, we're like, okay, well, his backing, his foundation is that, you know, so maybe, you know, some of the training tied back to the music. So is that, are we assuming correct there? No, actually, uh, you know, I've been doing the music for longer than I've been doing anything. Okay. Like, I, you know, I, I was doing the music in elementary school, elementary, middle, high school, college, like that, you know. Uh, so basically, Michael Jackson was the impetus of me wanting to be a, a creative in the first place. Right. And I just so happened to be precocious. And so along with that, you know, like having an influence on Michael Jackson, along with also being precocious myself, like that conjugated, it made me, you know, just be all over the place as a creator, you know, wanting to dance, wanting to sing, rap, act, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Seeing uh, him in The Wiz is what specifically made me want to be uh, an actor, but just seeing him in general, I said, I want to be like an entertainer because he wasn't just like, you know what I mean? He was an entertainer. Mm -hmm. And that's what I wanted to be. Yeah. So, so the Shakespeare stuff, that didn't come until college. I actually didn't even like Shakespeare when I, like, (laughs) like I I was at Grand Community College. And uh, I think it probably was like my intro to acting class. I don't know. I don't know why they decided to give us midsummer night's dream, but they did. <laughs> and I was like, what the hell? I couldn't even read. Yeah, man. I could I couldn't even I couldn't even read the first the script and paragraph. The first paragraph. What the hell is this? Yeah. Then my teacher, yeah. Fred Boston, he's like, you know, you should dig Shakespeare. He was the actual first rapper. So you should be into him. And once I understood that, once I got the stories, once I understood what it is that he actually was saying, because obviously yeah. I didn't talk like that, um, <laughs> it was good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
it's more like metaphors, you know, and and life is life, and but you can't come out and say what is life right. and about, so you have to make metaphors right. about it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, I'm not gonna. That kind of yeah. shocked me when I saw that because I was like, this may be the first black dude I ever met that's into Shakespeare. Like I was like, I, I ain't none of my friends cousins. I'll tell you, like I was you like, know, in college, I don't, that ain't we my, had to do like, Shakespeare like, in college. Well, we were all we were all forced to do yeah. it. Just like yeah. I mean, and it makes sense. You know, he's kind of bringing it full circle. That he was like, no, nah, that. This wasn't my lane. Like, I didn't go choose to walk Dude, in there Shakespeare, and do that. You if, know, you, like, if you think about it, Shakespeare is the goat of rap. If you is, think yeah. about it, the yeah. content, you know, Shakespeare you know, is literally the easy. goat of rap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's not one human on the face of the earth that doesn't know Shakespeare. But that's what I'm, that's going and, back to what yeah. I was saying earlier, though, with all the quotes and everything that come out of that. Mm-hmm. I mean, and it's everywhere. It's not just one lane that that falls in. Like, everybody quotes it. Every, you know, it's referenced oh, yeah. everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. You know, so... Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, once you that, get past the thou art and these yeah. and those and therefores and right. yeah. Yeah. No, that's cool. You know what's interesting, what's interesting about that is like when he said that we were forced into it like um like it was foisted onto me, but then uh you know, once I, I I'm a lover of language you know, and, and, and words, yeah. obviously. Cause I, you know, like I said, like I have been a rapper like all these years. And so, so I always love words and I always consider myself a wordsmith and I always had like a, a, a good vocabulary. And, um, once I start, and then once I got the stories were actually still relevant, right. I didn't even have to be forced anymore. I would go in my spare time and I would go to the library and I would get a Shakespeare play and then I would get the BBC version of it and, and I'll put the, the VCR tape in and I will watch and read at the same time because I still I still couldn't just read a Shakespeare play like right. I would be so lost, yeah. you know, but but to help me. I would watch the actors perform it because they're so good. If you're watching a performance and they're good, you can kind of discern what's happening. Even if you don't know like the definitions of certain words that they're talking about, you can get like what's going on. And so I would read and watch at the same time. And I would do that just on my own, just because I wanted to. And I went through this whole catalog. That's good. Wow. You think, so you're, so you're, you're crediting that for your, for enhancing your love of being a wordsmith? Or acting. I mean, yes. it, acting. I mean, it's, it's, I, it sure translates too. over. I mean, yeah, yeah. but because I mean, I, I noticed that too. Like, you know, just kind of jumping back on some of the things that you've been on, watching some of the interviews that you've done. I was like, man, I may real life have to take a dictionary in tomorrow <laughs> while I'm talking to this dude and like turn my back and be like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah. cool. Yeah, no, I'm back. <laughs> now I can answer your question. <laughs> You know, oh, okay. like in all honesty, but I mean, in all honesty, though, you know, like, and and it's and it doesn't it doesn't come over as a I'm smarter than you know, like you know, you you present it well, and it's and you can tell that it's not something that you just sat there and tried to craft just so I can sound smart on this show. You can tell that it's part of you know yeah. just your DNA your and dialogue. who you are now. Yeah. You know, so it's kind of cool to see and to hear a story that. One, like I said, I'm just being honest about it. Never interested whatsoever. Still ain't interested today at 48. <laughs> you know, but on the flip side of it, you know, seeing somebody that like took it yeah. and spent it a completely different angle. I mean, that's that's encouraging because all the kids still got to walk that path. Shake, you don't escape Shakespeare. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is that true. is forever well, dude, a staple in about- school. So like what he said, if they take that method and they take that same energy and apply it to what you have to get done anyway. I mean, you might as well make your life a little well, easier I, doing I, it. So I remember so, in college where we had to, we had to in literature, and we had to read Shakespeare. Yeah, and we had to interpret what he was actually saying. So when you when you become um, advanced in breaking down mm-hmm. the basic knowledge of of what he's saying to you. When life is lifing, yeah. then, and I love that word, life is life, lifing, life is. you know, um, when you're able to break it down to commonality of you and I looking at each other or you and I uh, talking to one another, um, you begin to have a love for it because, yeah. okay, he's not really saying that. Right. It's like reading the Bible and there's I was parables. Just, I was yeah. just about to you say, know what I'm saying? Yeah. And there's a bunch of parables. And yeah. once you can break down those parables as to what they mean, then it's easy reading for yeah. you. Mm-hmm. And I, I, yeah. I believe no, that's, that's yeah. what he's saying. Yeah. 
and I, I actually like, you know, um, I am currently working on a project now that is very important to me. And it is is called Shakespeare for You. And, and what I'm doing is I'm creating Shakespeare to, to get the younger generation and audience to be into it. So what we're that's doing cool. is cool. we're that's taking cool. play. We're gonna we're gonna put them like episodes. So I'll take like one play, right? So I'll I'll we're the first season would be like Macbeth and Compton. Okay. You know, yeah. and, and I'll take like 25 minute like excerpts from Macbeth and we'll do them, but it's kind of like Macbeth meets Snowfall yeah. or Minister mm-hmm. Society. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. And 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 now you you have it nexus together so that the audience and they they identify with this because now it, I mean we're still using the text right. but we don't sound like we're not you know saying we're talking yeah. like how you actually could see and understand and and with the with the subtext with the with the the cap the captions it's written not what we're saying but mm-hmm. like like exactly how you would understand it right you know what i'm saying so there's right. no room for you not to know what's going on because you know exactly what we're saying because you're reading it there mm-hmm. and you know i think it's going to be something that hopefully is like amazing and bring and bring shakespeare to everyone you know and and we are able to like go through his plays and and it'll be done and and the ingenuity of it will allow you to feel like you are part of it because we're we're going to do like macbeth and compton like like in the 90s like it mm-hmm. like like it's like a record label that's happening in the 90s Wow. That vertical. That, that, yeah, that's yeah. pretty dope, man. Let me tell I you, mean, when I first when I first fell in love um, with reading Shakespeare, um, I was younger and I was watching a different world. And Jada Pinkett had a literature class, and they were doing Shakespeare, mm-hmm. and she was having a hard time. Break, her character was mm-hmm. having a hard time breaking down the meaning right. of, you know, what what was being said. What was being yeah. said. And so when I was able to watch that, and I was mm. like, oh, so I went back. I was like, oh, okay, I got it now. <laughs> yeah. I got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think that's a great idea. That's a great, that think, is a great idea, man. I it think, really is. to my opinion, like I saw when I saw, Den, I saw Denzel on Broadway in Julius Caesar right. playing Brutus or yeah. whatever. Yeah. So like Shakespeare has like influence, like, the, like the obviously biggest the biggest oh, yeah. stars yeah. on the face of the earth. That Denzel at the time had training day, everything. Right. It right. was like a two week thing that he played Brutus, yeah, uh, um, in Julius Caesar or whatever. Right. Um, yeah, he just got nominated last year for Macbeth. Yep, for Macbeth. Did. Wow. But so that's pay- a great training, though. No, that, that, I mean a that's great <laughs> to have that under your belt. You know, to be able to train under uh, under the the tutelage of of Shakespeare, and and be able to conquer that. Right. I mean, great actors have come yeah. from mm-hmm. that. Paige, what what do you do if um? So we we can clamp down that name that he's doing it with. What do you do? You get that call. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, because now you you, you kind of expose I mean, you expose yourself in that you, you don't just love it. You have a passion for it because of what your latest project passion, is. Right. You oh, flipped shit. the switch. You went from love Dang. to passion, which is. To me, that's two different things. Um, one and the same, but two different things. So you get that call, whether it's a Denzel or, but let's keep it Denzel because we have faith right. that let's let's right. speak that into speak existence. Speak that into existence. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying you get that call that you're the next man up. What what? How how does Paige react that he's now about to grace the stage with one of the greatest to ever do it and something that he's extremely passionate about? I mean, first of all, I I I will be scared, sh- shitless, <laughs> um, but I'm all. No, 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 no. Let's let's this. keep it real. Keep it real. First of all, you gonna get up and you are gonna take the hat and turn it yeah, around gonna get and you gonna back. pace back and yeah. forth. <laughs> <laughs> Do the, the bird man hand, the bird man yeah. hands. <laughs> and listen, oh my god, yeah. oh my yeah. god, that's funny. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I get, I get so nervous about here. Here's the thing about me. I want all of it. 
like I'm sitting here in my house and I, I want all of them. I'm like, how come I'm not performing at the BT Award? <laughs> how come I haven't been nominated for Emmy? How come like I, I want all of the stuff, right? But the reality is, if it came, I'll be so nervous. <laughs> like right now, even even in the midst of this podcast, I just got um invited to come do sway in the morning in the morning oh, that's cool. Cool. like right now and my, that's my cool. brain immediately was like cool. i've been wanting this yeah, yeah, that's just, cool. oh shit oh shit oh shit oh yeah, shit but now yeah, i gotta yeah. do it i don't want to mess up yeah, speaking as though yeah. it really is, <laughs> that's awesome, it is. so i would that's i would be i would be so weird but i would be so grateful that's good it's happening i'll be so it, it, i'll be happening. so grateful it's happening oh. yeah you gotta so, keep grinding i mean so yeah, my, we, yeah. we believe it so my thing so um so you've had a lot of success like you've been in TV shows and Blue Mountain State and the Upshaws and um, acting acting has taken off for you and 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 we've had some up and coming actors and yeah. some very successful actors yeah. on the show and we know the grind is is insane like we had uh, Showtime Brando first episode right. and he was on P Valley like one of the star characters on P Valley. He did 500 auditions before before he had <laughs> before he got the P Valley role. Yeah, um, like mm. give me a little bit of the journey or like your success in the acting. Like how did like did it take you that long to break to break a role or like what what was the grind there? Well, well, for me, my story is a little unique um, because. <laughs> I was in graduate school, so I, I I went to school long enough to be a doctor, to be an actor, because I wanted to be great. I didn't just want to be good, you know? Mm-hmm. And um, so I was in graduate school. I went to graduate school for classical theater, so I went there, like, to do Shakespeare, you know? Um, but then I, I, I left early because I knew ultimately, like, I have always wanted to be, like, a movie star. That was, that's been the goal the whole time, you mm-hmm. know? And so... I left early and I came to L.A. And, you know, it's a, it was a situation of right place, right time, because I snuck into an audition. I told them that I was a courier making a delivery. I didn't have an agent. I didn't I didn't even have a ride. Somebody <laughs> had to drive me to Sony Studios and we both pretended like we couriers. Delivering something. I was just delivering myself. And I had a in the dream, you know, and, and I end up getting this audition and I, I I got this part over all of these actors who've been here and auditioning and all this. And to me, because it was my first audition I ever had, I only been here a month. Like I thought that it was like always this easy. I was like, bro, this is the <laughs> easiest thing ever. It's my first <laughs> I'm barely doing anything and they laughing like crazy. This is simple. You know? And, and, then I realized, you know, I got that part and that set me up. That got me an agent that can set me up. But then I realized like the reality that that was God putting me in a position yeah. and a place to be where I'm supposed to be at. But it was definitely not simple because like he said, like, you know, I auditioned for a litany of roles that, that aren't even close to happening. You know, I can have probably 90 auditions to get one, you know, mm-hmm. so, so it's, it's very difficult. Like I said, I was I was very fortunate and blessed to be in that position to start me off because a lot of my friends that came from the college that were like better actors than me, they couldn't get an agent and, and it's set up to put you out. Right. In order right. to get an agent, you got to have credits. In order to have mm-hmm. credits, you got to have an agent. Mm-hmm. So yeah. how the hell? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so I was I was very I was very fortunate to be able to get my start the way that I did. And then, you know, I've just been continuing to try and keep going. But it is so hard. And then you got these self tapes. Listen, I've never (laughs) been cast off a self tape. Mm. All we can do now is self tape. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So I have not booked a job. I think that I already had an order or I might get off. Or whatever, but I've never actually physically booked the job off of a self tape, and that is the only thing that is the new normal now. So yeah. it's mm-hmm. it, you know it's a scary thing. So yeah. let me ask you a question. So would you uh, parallel that to when you're um, in the music industry? You know how you go into the studio, and um, they always say keep keep the tape rolling because your <laughs> first take is always the best take because it's very natural, very organic, mm. very raw. So would you? 
you know, say mm-hmm. that that was the same thing because when you went to this audition, which really wasn't your audition, yeah. and you walked in there, you were just, you were hungry. <laughs> and so it's like, okay, I'm right. raw, I'm natural, it's organic. This is what you're getting. Yeah. You know? Yep. 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 Yeah. I mean, listen, I think uh, because a lot of times, you know, even when it comes to like uh, my social media like game, because I, you know, um, I was I was the top five Viner, black Viner in the world when when that was going on on the Internet. And then, you know, my son and I, we would do like a lot of viral videos. And a lot of times, you know, we get it on the first try because, you know, unless something goes wrong that like you said, that first time. Yeah, that's is it. the most. Or- yeah organic it's the most real and every time after that you just trying to like fight to compare to get to that thing you know (laughs) to to get to that place you know it's like it's like the first time that you ever i mean i don't do drugs but i would imagine it's like the first time you got high or the first time you you climaxed as a human being like you always chasing that 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 first time you know and so yeah that's good how do you uh so and, and dave and i were talking Yesterday, today, one of them, we talk all the time. So y- you've managed to not, to this point, to not really get typecast. And and I think you've kind of described to us already in a nutshell how you have avoided that. But that part, as hard as it is landing that role, no matter how you land it, whether you, you know, you're sneaking in as a FedEx driver or, <laughs> you know, you actually got the call to come do it, how... How yeah, difficult you, on top of it being hard to you, act. You played the good guy. You He's played the bad enough guy. To like you stay played, out of one you particular played, role. You played all different types of yeah. characters. Yeah. So yeah. like you're 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 you're, you're super very versatile. Versatile, I mean, yeah. exactly. Which is great. But I think that ties back to yeah. You know, like <laughs> I, I have my head on that. Yeah, that's good. I, I, I was saying that I you know I, my 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 pride is in that because. You know, I come from the stage. I come from theater where I've played kings. I've played peasants. I've mm. played the villain. I've played the, you know, I've played so many things that, you know, I feel like I'm 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 a, a unique talent. You know, Royce the Five Nine, um, a rapper from Detroit, yeah. he, called, he called me a unicorn because, you know, I do comedy just as well as I do drama. And I do Shakespeare, and not a lot of actors do Shakespeare. I, I see. I mean, it's weird for me because all my friends, like from school, <laughs> they oh, all do it. But like, like in, in Hollywood, it's kind of like coveted. Yeah. You know, it's not something that 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 is done often here. You know, and then you know, and so so I can do all of these th- these different expressions like you know uh commensurate to each other and the same with my music like my music is extremely diverse in that sense too because yeah. you know i i do socially conscious songs i do straight bar songs i do vibe like something that just feels good that's a vibe you know i, I do battle rap stuff like so so i i i just don't want you to see me coming like you know when, when you have Paige kennedy it's kind of like you don't know what you're about to get, yeah, but you know yeah. it's going to be entertaining. And I, I, I but you so, did say that <laughs> that you spent as much time as a doctor in school. That is correct. Because you didn't want to be good, you want to be great. Great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's correct. So yeah, it it, it shows. I'll yeah. tell you perfect Michael example. Jackson. Yeah. Perfect Michael example Jackson. of that: gangster shit and fear. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yes. It's two different. It's like two it's different, two different things. Two different artists, but both nasty. Yeah, yeah. both yeah, well, nasty, and they both and, they, and they're both they're both commensurately as stellar. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not like one sacrifices when you know. A lot of times, like you'll have like an athlete who want to be a rapper, or you'll have like this who wants mm-hmm. to now do this. Like me, all of the things that I do, I do them like cool. ambidextrous. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, it speaks volume. It, it does. It does. It speaks volume for your character. It speaks volume for um, your artistry. Yeah. It speaks volume, you know, just as you as a human being, because you're hungry enough to say, okay, what you want? Okay, I got I it. Can give it's it kind of like yeah. doing a record, right? And back in the day, they only wanted you to do one record and they put you in a box, okay? What you're saying and what I've always said is, okay, well, let me do this record in a dance version, but let me do it 
in an R&B version. Let me do it in a reggae version. Mm-hmm. Let me do it whatever you need. I got it. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that's that's how it is with you. Because mm-hmm. you, you uh, have put yourself in a position for sure to keep strengthening the resume. That's for certain. Absolutely. I mean, like I said, I mean, yeah. it's hard to... You know, they say keep it to, and, and it's it's weird. I mean, you know, I, I work in HR for a living. You know, so it's weird that, you know, the, the whole industry would tell you, keep it to one page, keep it short. Don't, can't. You, you can't. know, they're going to stop reading before now, except that in this instance, this man has a four or five page resume that you just keep flipping mm-hmm. and you just keep flipping because right. you're like, okay, I, I already found what I'm looking for, but let me see now that, you know, I know this is coming, so... I think you put yourself in a great position that, you know, as you work with whoever it is, th- people already, you've put yourself in that spot that they're now already oh, thinking about what that next. Mm-hmm. As, as, he, as he works with, with Denzel. Yeah, as exactly. he works with Denzel. Okay. As he but works I mean, with Denzel. You know, yeah. it's that, <laughs> we're, it's that, we're, we're calling that. <laughs> yes, yeah. we are. But so, it's, that, it's that, you know, but it's that constant, you know, where they're now, okay, I know I have this project up and coming. Well, He's doing something that's completely different than that. Mm-hmm. But they're like, eh, but maybe he'll fit. The one he thing, might yeah, fit this as yeah. well. And you know, yeah. what audition? The yeah. one thing <laughs> I will the one thing I will say is that like being a hip hop artist myself or whatever, and, and I reached out when I reached out to Paige, I was like, yo, you're so freaking dope, bro. <laughs> like blah blah blah. Like what a, because like hip hop from where it used to be to where it is now yeah. has evolved so much to the point that people think there's a do- like this guy is a dope artist, but mm-hmm. he's not even speaking real words. <laughs> so like, but, like are we, about, are we, so it's a, are like, we say that all the time. He's <laughs> not even speaking real words. Yeah, that's and he's a, a dope artist to these kids. Yeah, or whatever. But he has no meaning. There's substance and substance. But that's yeah. a, that's exactly yeah. why what he just said a few minutes ago is exactly why we couldn't capture that one. Like yeah. we're listening to, we're like. I can't substance. find the one because we put these two songs beside each other. They're so different, yet both of them have substance in two different ways. Mm-hmm. You know, that I can't say, oh, yeah, that's my favorite because I can't even compare it to this one because it's something, it's completely different. You stepping out of the car, everybody <laughs> see what's going on in the world. Yeah. You're getting out my hands up. Like, I mean, like, like it's a good, whole other The yeah. best, whole song, other the best songs are the ones that... You could close your eyes to, and you could watch, and you see the you movie. See the movie. He's the picture you see right. a, mo- a right. movie, yep. and, and that's the what movie happening. Yep. And you know, his his is is different because you can it, it evolves. Yep. Number one, and then he has the the substance to back it. Right. You know, he has that that undercoat that yep. everybody doesn't have. Right. You mm-hmm. know, yep. and he can tell you about it. He can do it. You know, he's a man of action. He's a man of words. So yep. he's got. You know, yeah. he's got the full package. Hey, yeah. You just keep dropping them word bombs. That's from Robin Ness, <laughs> man. You got yeah, that ain't, yeah, that ain't. <laughs> you got you got that from Robin Ness, man. Yeah, that ain't, that's not a small. Uh, I'm excited to see yeah, you working with the kids. It's good, man. I really am excited to see really good what what's gonna evolve around that. I I believe that it's gonna be so good and so. Um, influential that you might have people watching you and calling you yeah. to recreate what you're doing. So, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, keep, keep that's keep the plan. Going. Like, I'm, I'm, putting my whole, I'm, putting, I'm putting all my efforts into this in, in hopes of, you know, landing on uh, Apple Plus or yeah. on, on one of these streaming networks where where they'll see it and they they see something that they recognize you know because that's 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 the point of it i want i want this to feel like something that they they recognize you know how like the romeo and juliet was right. that yeah. leonardo right. DiCaprio. right yeah mm-hmm. sounded don't... like we're like are these shakespeare words because it sounds <laughs> like they just talking yeah <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. but don't 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 put all your your hopes in 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 what other people can give you, put all your hopes in building up the the, the knowledge and the love for the children, yeah. so that they grow up, and then God will work everything else out for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hell yeah, man! Yep. What yep. Is, what is it yep. though about you, Detroit people? Though I got so much family in Detroit, and I swear, I think if you're born in Detroit, man, it there, it is just a different hustle. 
different hustle. It is a it's different. A, yeah, I mean, look it, at it, freaking Draymond. Man, I, and I'm telling remind me, <laughs> but listen, remind me to remind me to show you. I'm not even joking, man. Like some of my closest cousins and family are from Detroit, but man, their grind, that grind, is just so different. And it's I don't know. Mindset. I just don't know that it's you know. I don't know that it's something, you know, and I won't say in the air there, but I just think that they have watched so many people just generation after generation after generation just go get after it. And I just think it's one of them pockets of the land that that has just translated Mm -hmm. to every single person that come up. I I mean, you know, and I'm not saying every person, you know, goes and does what Paige. the people that I know from Detroit. Even the ones that ain't on Paige's level. Just regular Still every day grinding, grinding. To get out. That yeah. grind is In just some way, different, shape man. Or form. Like, I'm, I'm gonna go buy me a Detroit hat, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm Paige, you, you know, you and <laughs> Paige, you and De, you and Demonte have a lot in common, by the way. So, <laughs> Demonte is a massive Lakers fan. So, like oh, that Lakers boy, win night. that you went nuts on or last whatever, night, bro. <laughs> that Lakers win. I told, I told Dave, I said, bro, I got a, I got an opener for this one just because of the last thing that he posted. I said, because I was gonna pop right on and be like, so how did, how did AR survive that uh, setup? Last night that you uh, didn't win all, you didn't do. <laughs> he's like Spencer didn't win. All, you didn't do hey, shit, but you threw up. A, but you threw up a clutch three. <laughs> but I was crying <laughs> laughing last night. <laughs> crying. You laughing. know what I did? I'm an idiot. I dropped money on freaking the Bucks when they're up eighteen. And then I'm like, oh, don't worry, I got in the parlay like with a whole bunch of shit. Paige, that's the Jersey boy, and he didn't, he didn't. <laughs> I got it in a parlay with a whole bunch of shit. I, I was the, like, wait, yeah. the Lakers won. Yeah, don't doubt us. Jeez, don't doubt us, bro. <laughs> brutal. That's yeah, right. Yeah, we 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 coming for you now. Listen. <laughs> We just got to take care of our business tonight because yep. it will be so anticlimactic if we get caught in this trap game. Yep. Like, we got to take care of our – like, tonight is is just as important because, <laughs> you know, last night was a schedule loss, mm-hmm. you know, and we thought, all right, we'll win tonight. Mm-hmm. But the fact that we got that game – it is completely marred if yeah. we lose tonight. So yeah. we ha- it's such an important game yeah. tonight to win. I'm just, I'm yeah. just, yeah, I'm just sure. hoping everybody still got legs after after so, that long game. Paige, we're going to be with Shaq on Friday, by the way. Yeah. So um, even though this will air the following Friday, right? What what um, what words do you want us to tell Shaq for you? <laughs> <laughs> Shaq, Shaq, no, Shaq, no, 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 Paige Kennedy. I, I want you to ask him about. I saw about these bars. See if see if he see if Shaq that's, is that's true. Is, is is up on pay on bars. Hey, that's okay. true. You know, you know Shaq, I, I you know Shaq might... tried to go Shaq? Uh, his route. Shaq. <laughs> I'm gonna say yeah. Uh, like I love Shaq as <laughs> nah, a person, but I don't hoop. think I don't think rapping was his Hooping lane. DJ. <laughs> Actually, it's hey, up. listen, I was a big I was a big fan of Shaq. Like I, I bought I. I bought both of his albums. Like, actually, I bought uh, not his albums. They were tapes back then. But like, I I think I bought his first tape twice because because <laughs> I played it so much that it broke. Like, oh. like I got skills, bro. Listen, <laughs> listen. Shaq wasn't like the most lyrically gifted right. person in the world, yeah. but he did put out albums that I enjoy. Yeah. You know, he had Biggie. He had Biggie on his album. He look. He, he that that beat to. Uh, <laughs> I got skills. Like, I like. I listen. Yeah. I like Shaq as a rapper. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> hell yeah. I like. I maybe, like I was biased, maybe I was biased because I was a Laker fan, and so like I love Shaq. Period. But. Well, I'm, I'm a diehard Lakers fan too, and I'm just gonna go on record that I loved him much more as a basketball player than I did. Well, yeah. sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes much more. Sometimes I'm like, hey, look, man, music I'm be comes out. About. Sometimes mm-hmm. music yeah. comes out before so it's who's time. Your favorite rapper? Mm. Oh well, so we go we go know. back and who, forth. Who, 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 I'm just curious. I'm just curious, like based off of, of 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 how you guys gravitate to my music. I'm curious of like what your proclivities are, like far as your rap. Like, can you guys I, all? Yeah, I'll um, give you my. T- I'll give you my your rappers. Yeah, I'll give you my two. Pac and uh, Kendrick for me, man. Biggie, Rock, Kim. Okay. Uh, M. People Ooh. hate on me for throwing M in I mean, the top I mean, I can three. name them all, but, but as M, far as just M, how can they hate on you for throwing a goat? How can they hate on you for throwing the greatest rapper who ever said a word? Like, I don't Eminem. understand it. Yeah. 
Well, we have a. M is ridiculous. My, me and my buddy yeah. go at it with Jay Z and M yeah. or whatever, and he won't put M in the same cat- he's putting, category. He's not putting, well, he won't put anybody in the category of Jay Z. As Jay Z. I, mean, so I think M that's not a discussion is nicer than Jay Z, in my opinion. And I love Jay. M is Just, M is I like M and M's flow. Like writing, I like writing, his flow. writing, writing. But, yeah. yes, but you know who I like? I I, I told you guys Ooh. in the car. Um, Red Man, Red, Red Man, Red Method Man. Man. Those are like you know. They're just, they just do it for me because it, I, I, I'm from up top, you know, I'm mm. from New York. So it just kind of flows real nice for me. And I, when I heard yours, yeah, I was you, like, you some, I was some like, nice mm, this, this sound yeah. like Red Man back yeah. in the day, you know? And Red Man was I ridiculous. Love Red Man. Yeah. 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 That's exactly what you, you said in the car. You heard my song with Red Yeah. Uh, no, I haven't I heard the song, song with Meth. Yeah. No, I haven't heard the sorry. I haven't heard the song with Meth, yeah. but I was listening to the yeah. songs in the car. And when I, I was listening, I'm like, you was like, this is Red Man. <laughs> this sound like Red Man stuff right here. You you Paige, yeah. you got a you got a dream yeah, Red, uh, Red is my boy. You got a dream uh collab? Yeah, me. I I, I definitely do. <laughs> yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good one. All right. That may be a that would be a good one. Yeah, it would actually probably. He Robin and Gail on the beat. Hey, <laughs> hey. He Robin and Gail on the beat. Hey. You hey. Robin so, and Gail so on the beat. I, I, <laughs> nothing but a word, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. No, but I, 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 you know, me and Red talk about doing something. He he wants to do something, but he wants to he wants to do something funny. Okay. He, he's like, you, you can't have like both of us on there and not. Like be entertaining and funny, and right. I and I agree with him. Right. I, I you know, so we just haven't found like beat, but but we we definitely want to do something. But my my dream collab is with Eminem for sure. Yeah. With that, now man. once again, yeah. if that call came, if that call no came, if. I would be no petri- if, no mm-hmm. if, but yeah. when, when, no if. Oh, so I'm gonna get Eminem and when. No, why, right, can't, why, when? Why, why, why can't you though? Yeah. I mean, you, yeah. got, you, got a, you got an eight page yeah. resume. You're setting yeah. yourself up for it. You know, Detroit has, <laughs> so Detroit, in my opinion, has the best rappers coming out. Like NF, you know, NF page? NF fr- is from uh, is dope. from freaking yeah. Detroit. Nasty. Yeah. Na- and he has a I didn't cult. Know, I didn't know NF until you He has told the me. biggest you, cult yeah. following known to mankind. Yeah. Man. Like, because the things that this man can he do, like he's yeah, like, he's like Eminem. But the thing that this man can do, which like, tra- like I know Nate or whatever. Right. Like uh, my daughter's best friend is his niece. Okay. But like the funny thing is, he w- he won't even uh, post for a year, right? <laughs> Nothing, like no. And then he'll go on Instagram and post a picture of just a blank screen. <laughs> Like this is true. Yeah. He'll That's post a right. picture of a blank screen, yeah. and freaking then yep. th- there'll be like there'll be like eight hundred there'll be like eight hundred thousand comments. Like, is this what it, is this oh, what I think screen. it means? <laughs> yeah. And then like yeah. just of a blank screen. Right. A week later, he'll be like, "New album drops tomorrow." <laughs> yeah. Like a one day notice. Yeah. And it will go platinum. That's dope. In a week. Yep. Yeah. That's dope. It's it's insane. Yeah. That's good to though. see, like yeah. to see this like firsthand how he does it. Yeah, because like out of anyone that that I've ever met in the world, he lives exactly who he says he is. Like, right, he's he's very social. Like he doesn't like crowds. He doesn't like to like when you're talking to him. Like very smart and intellectual, but he doesn't like like he has like in, horrible anxiety. So when he like he, like music is calling him to be <laughs> mm-hmm. the best right. or whatever, to right. be to be that guy. Right. But like for him it's just like, hey, new song out tomorrow, <laughs> drops it, platinum. Yeah. It's it's mind blowing to watch it. It's always the orga- or- organic way that works. Yeah. Anything else? Like you say, you well, try too hard. You try too hard. Just do it organically and hey, yeah. Mm-hmm. Let it go. Let it go out into the universe. It'll come back. It'll come back positive. Yeah, we talked. We talked about it with you, mm-hmm. um, Robin, when she did "Show Me Love" or whatever. Was tell tell him a little bit of the story when she was dri- <laughs> where were you driving home one day and it popped on the radio the one time. Oh yeah, I was you know driving home and working on, a regular highway, job, working a you know mayor's assistant and 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 working a regular job and. One day driving home, 
And I heard it on one of the radio stations. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, okay. There's that song again. And then I flipped to another radio station. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. All right. Maybe we have something. <laughs> That's what we're picking up. I flipped to another radio station. At the time, we had four major ones. Mm -hmm. Every one of them were playing it simultaneously. And I had to pull the car over because I was like, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This is really happening. Here. Yeah. Something is really happening here. And you, you know it. Because you feel it when the good is coming back to you. You feel it. You get that awakening yeah. where it's like, okay, I'm in the zone. I'm in the zone now. It's happening. And it's it's kind of like a, a, a preparation, a pre-preparation. Say that fast five times. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and and, and it, it kind of prepares you for, okay, the doors are getting ready to open. Mm -hmm. You know, everything happens in a season. And I really believe that this is your season um, for doing what you're going to do, especially with the children. Because my thing <coughs> is that if when when you see or when you notice that um, networks or or people are asking you questions or people are are um, um, following you um, in what you're doing, that's when you know that it's getting ready to happen. And so you need to prepare yourself. I'm not the medium or anything, but I'm, <laughs> I'm just going by experience that your inside, your gut mm -hmm. feeling will start getting really kind of nervous and shaky. <laughs> so that's why I said when, when yeah. Denzel calls you, you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. when Eminem calls you, because it's going to happen. Yeah, it's going to happen. Yeah. If you yes, keep, yes, yes, and if you keep yep. on doing what you're doing, and even though you got a million followers or yeah. whatever, if you keep on doing what you're doing yeah. right now, man, yeah. there's no doubt. Like, real hip-hop lives, and it lives in yeah. Paige Kennedy. Yeah, for sure. Like, Young Gray is a great <laughs> rapper. And <laughs> 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 is that hat? Yeah. <laughs> it's tilted He's to like, the side. Right, now now that hat You just made tilted. me move my hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, yes. That's what I'm talking about. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, real yeah. hip hop exists and exists in Paige Kennedy. Yeah, like no. Young Gray is a great rapper. Me, I'm a great rapper. I'm a dance. Like I make people move <laughs> and dance. Like Paige Kennedy hits the soul. Paige hits the soul. Paige hits the soul. Yeah. Makes that's you a think new song, Paige. a lot. Paige hitting the soul. Look, he's like, yeah, yeah, that's a new one. That's a new one, man. No, it's like, yep, that's a new one. There's those parallels, or like, or you hit it with, or you hit it with like a book reference, like flip the page, or <laughs> just another page in the script, something like, <laughs> like something like, like all, like. You, 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 you get um, um, like I don't know if you guys went through. Like my my catalog, but like all of my um, albums, you know, have those page mm. puns page in it. Puns. You know, like mm. the first one, torn pages. The second one, page different story. The third one, just page, which is an all socially conscious album, which I had never done before. Mm -hmm. Then you got front page and the newest one, a book of pages. Book of you know, pages. Uh, I have like five, like four. And then I have five straight bar mixtapes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think everything is should be page, page, page. Because yeah. there's yeah. so much even word plays that you can do with your That's own right. name, man. That like it's like, like, yep. um, yep. That's what. The, but that's what Dave was highlighting on the way over here. Because like we did, we for for Robin and uh, Gail, we like turned their ears all the way up on the way over to. Uh, they was like, bro, did you just hear that? Did you hear that? <laughs> bro, did you hear that? I mean, so we just, I mean, I'm telling you, we're just hyped because I'm telling you, we stay talking on this show mm -hmm. about there being zero lyrics out there. Yeah. And these people blowing mm -hmm. up off this trash music. Oh, my goodness. Oh they my are blowing up on trash. Yep. Yeah, our job I mean, is to like, bring back the literally real Literally blowing up trash. So we're like, we're like, no, no, no. We got to get... We got to get real music back in these kids' mm -hmm. ears. Yeah. I said, because, and I mentioned the, uh, when we had Dave on, like I was literally saying, the music we're going to pass on to our grandkids will be music we grew up listening to. Not like right now, we're not pay, we're not pacing toward this, this right now stuff to pass mm -hmm. on to nobody. Like, we're going to like, but it's man, instant. you're going to forget about because I mean, we live in an instant society. That's, you're right. So, they want you know, that instant they want gratification that instant of everything. Gratification, yeah. mm -hmm. that instant money. Yeah. 
that is, they don't know anything about, and I'm sorry, y'all, mm-hmm. young kids, I'm sorry. They don't know anything about working hard. They don't know anything about zero, the Chitlin circuit. Zero, they don't zero know anything Detroit about, hustle. Like, no. like, you know, grinding really, really hard. <laughs> they just want somebody to put them on. Put right. me on. Put yep. me on. Put me on. Yeah. You know, and when you get songs like, take a picture with my camera phone, and this yeah. becomes a mega hit. Yeah. And I'm like, what the heck? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, nah, that's good. Yeah, cool. so, so paid. So um, we had a, a one of, like, Nashville's biggest... Songwriters on last week, and I have the so- uh, sauce that's out. It's called Big D Sauce. It's actually my sauce. Yeah. And well, all she really wanted was my Big D sauce. <laughs> so, literally so, grinded that out. So, we did that live at the <laughs> podcast studio or whatever. We did that exact like <laughs> clip, um, and then and then we turned it into a commercial over like the next day, which was which was insane. But um, the reason why I bring this up is Nashville, where we live, like, obviously, the name of the podcast is called Nashville. Right. Um, we have the first hip-hop residency in the history of Nashville on Broadway or whatever. Yeah. So one of these weeks, we'll fly you out to Nashville or whatever, and I think you got to show the people of Nashville give, what give hip-hop is lyrics. about. Give yeah. Which is which is huge. Like I got Rick Ross coming on April twenty sixth. Yep. Rich the Kid April twenty seventh. Um, we need Paige Kennedy to come out and Paige do a freaking Kennedy out big show out. I might have, <laughs> we got to get I might Paige have to Kennedy come down. Yeah, I might have yeah. to come down for yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah. Robin's yeah. gonna come down for the Paige Kennedy show too. Get Paige out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be <laughs> dope. Oh yeah. Have you yeah. been to Nashville, Paige? Bring me down there. I need to be down there. You've no, been to Nashville no. before. No, I haven't. Oh, yeah. Oh, bro. my God, dude. Yeah. You're missing nope. out on life, yeah. bro. What a time to be alive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Nashville is the number one. I work. It's basically like, I'll put you like this. Nashville is what Vegas was three to f- three to ten years ago or whatever. With the foot Nashville has taken sure. over to be in the number one place in America to go to to party. Yeah. Or whatever. Broadway in Nashville, there's there's really? nothing like nothing Nashville. like it. Yeah, nothing like we, it. Yeah, when we took over the bachelor, but I mean, we we can blame the bachelorette parties because that's what happened. <laughs> we took over Vegas as the bachelorette party capital. No lie, and of course, guess what? Guess what follows that? All the guys, you know. Yes. So like literally, when they found out that all the parties will be here every every Thursday through Sunday, because that's what we call the city. Mm-hmm. It's Thursday through Sunday. Then all the guys start flocking here, and now this city is nuts every single day. Oh, weekend, yeah. Broadway so. and Nashville, there's nothing like it in yeah. all of America. Like, literally nothing like it. But there's no, uh, like, I would even say New Orleans, Bourbon Street, it's, it's just different. a dirty bro- Broadway. Compa- yeah. Like, Broadway <laughs> and Nashville, yeah. it, there's nothing like it to experience. Especially as an artist, too. Like, mm. you should come out here. And get that experience, even though a lot of it is country, and we finally got that hip hop spot to flip it in freaking uh, on Broadway, which is which is insane. Yeah, but um, but if you came out and just observed like all the <laughs> live, like bro, like how many musicians? There's just millions oh, oh, yeah. of, musicians. of musicians. How many just, bars are down there? It's a musician in every single yes. bar. Every yeah. single I mean, bar. Every bar has somebody every live level band, of so. every yeah. bar. Yeah. Or whatever, because there's multiple levels. Yeah. There's thousands and thousands and thousands of musicians. So like when you come out like as an observer just to watch it happen, it's in it's in it's insane, man. Yeah. Nashville, you have to come to Nashville for a fact. Gotta get you to Nashville. Yeah. Your head will, your your hat will be turned backwards. <laughs> yeah. yeah, your hat will be turned backwards. <laughs> Robin said the hat's coming backwards. There you go. <laughs> like, That's it. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. That is it. That's funny, man. Paige Ooh. is the freaking man, bro. Yeah, so we're looking forward, man. We got to wrap this up. But listen, D, any final words you want to tell him? No, man, I, I, I'm going to encourage you, man, to, at one, I appreciate the the Shakespearean experience today. <laughs> the Shakespeare experience from a different yeah, yeah, set yeah. of eyes, but same set of eyes. I mean, you know, this is that for me, that was one of those, yeah. you look like me moments, except that you and I viewed that completely different. You know, so I appreciate the spin on that because I do think what you're doing will encourage other people that look like us and not look like us to pick that piece up and develop it and perfect it just like you are. So 
you know, dude, keep, you know, keep doing what you're doing. I'll, I'll tell you, man to man, stay humble. You know, don't don't get above, you know, where you are, except where God done put you in that moment and run with it. So we appreciate you coming on, man, for sure. That's yeah. what's up. Thank you guys right. for having me. I, I really am, appreciate it. I am 100% impressed. <laughs> I'm 100% impressed. <laughs> um, and not that it takes a lot to impress me, just that I like to see the person behind the music. I like to see the person, the true person behind the acting. I like to conversation, you know, conversation, yeah. communication for me is everything. And I learn a lot from mm -hmm. a, and about a person through conversation. And even though we're doing this from a, you know, distance, the eyes, the eyes tell me everything the mouth won't. Wow. Yeah, 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 See, yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. That's yeah. what's up. Yeah, and I guess for me, man, like I'm I'm so grateful that we got you on the show, bro. Like I said, um, this this podcast was one I really want like wanted to set up yep. or whatever. Yeah. Exactly like I see it. when I look at you, I yep. know what the future brings or whatever. And I know you know what the future brings. And I think like one, like you're a double-edged weapon right now. <laughs> you you literally are. Like if someone was like, Dave, go out and go act, like, am I funny? <laughs> yeah, but am I going to know how to act something? No gigs. There's no gigs Zero coming gigs. from me. None. Like, you are a double weapon right now, yeah. which is crazy. Yeah. So while one thing, ex while one thing blows up, yeah. like, the other thing is also going to blow up. Right. And I'm just... I'm I'm We're glad that uh, like I'm glad to say like yo we have Paige Kennedy on yeah, the show baby let's yeah. go yeah, we're here yeah. for it. or whatever <laughs> or yeah. whatever so I think um you uh, have to call us and let us know when Denzel yeah Denzel you know, is going to reach out to oh, you yeah. very you have to call shortly us and let us know when all that other hey, all hey, that M &M. blessing don't forget that and Eminem yeah why would you have to call us when all the blessings start coming yeah, yeah. okay yeah. cuz they are coming and and stop speaking if yeah. it's always when 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 so pa Paige, what would you like yeah. to say That's what's up. to the people uh right now that um if any last words that you want to tell everyone, what what would you have to say? Uh, hey, I just want to say that you know I'm I'm happy to be on this platform. I'm happy to be connected, you know, with Nasty Bill. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be able to come out there and and you know perform for you guys. And and you know, I just implore anyone who is interested in you know, substance, as Robin said, um, and substance. <laughs> um, I, I, I think that I provide that. I have I have a voice and something to say that's poignant. And, um, I, you know, I try and do it in an interesting way. And, and you should really do a deep dive and tap into my music because it's a lot of it there for you to get into. And it's a lot of different, uh, you, you know, variables that that it comes in. So, uh, yeah, just, just tap in with me everywhere at Paige Kennedy. And I, I engage with my pagers. <laughs> if you oh, become one. Oh, I know. Yeah. All right. Oh, I by saw. the way, <laughs> listen, there was one thing, there's one thing that we didn't talk about that I want to end with right now. So the Meg, right? So my wife's biggest fear is sharks by a landslide. Um, her sister used to like everybody. Her yeah. She, her sister would lock her in a room as a kid and play Jaws on repeat. Uh, okay. oh so, like, my wife can't watch a shark movie <laughs> without, like, and run on the floor after because she thinks the shark's, shark's gonna come up, up and eat it <laughs> or whatever. It's that. It's that bad. <laughs> so, like, to be on the mag, man. Like, I just want. Like, I, I can't believe. It. Like, what? How, how was? How cool was it to be on freaking mag, man? <laughs> I mean, it's a, fr a fantastic franchise. Um, it's one that, you know, I hope persists, but, you know, you never know. Um, and I love what they did and the maturation of DJ's character from part one to part two. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I got to have so much fun, um, like, you know, being able to be funny and <laughs> kicking ass and doing 
doing, you know, the action scenes. And, you know, I just had a fantastic time. And and listen, <laughs> to me, I wish the Meg could be like Fast and the Furious. I hope that it <laughs> right. like continues yeah. to go until, yeah. I don't know, the Meg could be like anyway. You know? uh, so so I, I just had a wonderful experience. I love the cast and uh, I hope it keeps going. Hell yeah. Let's so, get freaking 20 mags, man. Because there's mags. always going to be a mag <laughs> 20 mags. somewhere. Yeah. There's always going to be a mags. mag in that freaking like ocean cool. that nobody cool, sees. Though. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> always. Let's get 20 mags go. I could watch that mags. shit for days. Let's, let's get it till it gets like mag in space. Like, let's let, let, let it keep going. Yeah, we <laughs> need like Meg a Meg space. Marathon right. day. Like, whenever they have Shark Week, it's Meg, Meg week. week or yeah. whatever. Yeah, Meg Week. <laughs> All right, Paige, man, I appreciate you for coming on, yes, bro. Sir, this was sure, a lot man. of a lot of fun, man. Yes, I hope yeah, I hope we'll you had you. fun a lot of too. All right, Nashville. Yeah. Out. Ride around my top now, window shaking a lot now I'ma stay proud, no cane brown But I thank God for these days now Don't make sounds, crash glass, no rebounds End town, Nashville, and I stay proud now Ooh.